For this week's Sports Star Spotlight, we're sending it to Joe McCann, who's in Florida with a young man who's quite literally one of the biggest prospects in the country. Hello, Joe. This is Olivier Ryu. At seven feet, seven inches tall, he is not just the tallest high school basketball player in the country. He is the tallest teenager in the world. I was always the tallest in, I mean, the tallest around. I would say fourth grade, I was like taller than my teacher, taller than most like sixth grade. I would hang out with the sixth grade because like I'm like taller than them. Olivier, also known as Ali, grew up in Montreal in Canada. Being so tall at a young age, it was only natural that he gave basketball a try. Now at over seven feet, some things are easy, getting rebounds and blocking shots, for example. But other things are hard, dribbling, running, and just keeping your body in shape to play a full basketball game. That's why the young Canadian is now in Bradenton, Florida at IMG Academy to take advantage of its facilities and coaches to become the best version of himself. The people, uh, for me, are one of the best things about coming here at IMG. You have a unbelievable amount of resources here, people with a wealth of knowledge that have played the game at all different levels, at different backgrounds. For Ali, it's absolutely the best place in the world because each part of his day is filled with the highest level trained person in the world helping him with that. So when he meets with a nutritionist, they're the best in the world. When he meets with his skills coach, he's one of the best in the world. You know, so each of those experiences help him maximize his potential. While IMG is known for having specialized programs for athletes in every sport it offers, there's a careful focus when it comes to training an athlete with a body as unique as Ollie. He needs to put on the right kind of weight while still remembering to focus on things like mobility and flexibility. With basketball, yes, you want to be strong, but you want to be able to move, you want to be able to react quickly, you want to be able to uh, land and, and be in an athletic stance for a majority of the time when you're out there and uh, be explosive. So uh, we do a really good job of, of doing those things, separating those things, working on explosiveness one day, working on uh, maybe endurance another day, um, and just trying to piece all those things out so hopefully it, it comes to like a peak. There's a certain way where like, there's like so many specific tough where like bend your knees when you play. I was not doing that. And like doing that every day, not every day, but like each, every week almost. And like keeping on certain stuff, they keep you on, they're not strict, but they want you to do something that is good for you. Of course, the most important factor in all of this is Ali himself. There's no amount of training that can help an athlete who doesn't want to do it, but Ali does. He's receptive to feedback, understands the goals his coach has set for him, and he puts in extra time to get there. Not only is he tall, because obviously people who are taller get encouraged to play, but he really loves it. You know, he really wants to work at it. He really wants to be great at it. And I think that's the biggest thing when college coaches have asked me about him is he really enjoys basketball. And I think at his height, sometimes you do it because you're expected to. In his case, he does it because he loves it. With Ali, just his demeanor. I mean, he's such a, such a good kid, very likable. He wants to work, he wants to get better. You know, sometimes those are some difficult expectations that are put on him just because he's, he's big. People think that he should already know how to do his taxes already and that he should already know how to live life as an adult and, and it's not that way. Um, he's just learning the game and learning life. There's also a certain amount of attention that comes with being more than seven feet tall. That goes for on and off the court. He has more than 91,000 followers on Instagram, but Ollie takes it all in stride, approaching each day with a smile and a positive attitude, no matter how many likes he gets on social media. I would say like I'm too young for it, okay. but like there's a certain amount that I like do. Like I will post and stuff like that. I like it, but I just, I don't spend that much of my time. The maturity with how he carries himself and uh, being famous even when he doesn't want to be. You know, when we're at the airport or we're outside of our campus, he tends to be a real draw. And as you can imagine for anyone, that can be challenging, but Ali handles it perfect in every scenario. Uh, but he definitely enjoys his time when he's on our campus and he's just Ali and not somebody who's a bit taller who they want to take pictures with and other things. All of the attention could certainly be a good thing going forward as having a lot of followers could make him more attractive to NIL opportunities in college. He's committed to the Florida Gators for next season and in the long term he'd love to represent Canada in the Olympics and play professionally. It would be a dream to represent Canada in the Olympics and I want to play professional too so it would be a dream. I definitely think overseas is going to be a, a great option for him 
but I really think uh, these next couple of years are really going to show if he can go even higher. For Ali, he's one of the few people in the world that the future's almost completely up to him outside of an injury. You know, with the amount of work he puts in, I would hate to put a cap on it. You know, I think I think the sky's the limit, and I think he can reach whatever his goals are uh, with basketball and, and beyond that. In Bradenton, Florida, I'm Joe McCann. Now let's send it back to Charles. Thanks a lot, Joe. Next time, take him in the low post and dunk on him, okay? Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.